Hey guys, this is my latest invention, the audio analyzer. What it does is it uses machine learning to detect sounds around it and then groups it into different categories. For example, the clapping is categorized as a gunshot. So uh, what I did is I used this trigger uh, that when it detects a gunshot, then I send it to my home automation system and based on that, I can turn on the lights. So I have the real classic <laughs> clap and the lights turn on effect, which is awesome. It works pretty reliably. This algorithm can actually do a lot more and let's have a look at it now. It works amazing, right? So now I actually want this code not just running on my computer, but I want it on a device with a microphone that I can place anywhere in my house. At first I was thinking to uh, do it on a device like this. So this is like an ESP32 and this is like an M4 stick with a built-in microphone, but it is a bit too slow and I'll show you why. To detect if our sound is in the audio wave, we need to draw some recognition points. These recognition points can then be used against the sample to check if it matches and if it is really our sound. At least, that's what I thought. Because the noise levels can be different in each room, for example there can be a fan on the background or some other sounds, it's super difficult to get, uh, to get like the prediction right. A classic example of this is the difference between a baby's laugh and a baby's cry. The audio spectrum is quite the same, but they are completely different sounds. So we need to find a different way of, of dealing with this. Luckily, we live in a world where there's super advanced technology. So we are going to use machine learning to handle uh, the process of uh, defining what sounds we are getting. We are going to use the Google Max audio classifier. This machine learning model has over 2 million labeled YouTube videos, which is being used to classify all of the different sounds. The audio behind the YouTube video is being converted into an image. All of the audio data is inside of that image and uh, because it is labeled, it defines what it is. So now the next step is to use simple image recognition software, which already exists to uh, determine if the sound is that category that's defined. Unfortunately, the M5 stick is not powerful enough for this machine learning model. So we're gonna need something else. The hardware for this is pretty simple. It's just a Raspberry Pi and a USB microphone. So basically you plug in the microphone and it should work. I really hope that the quality of this microphone is good enough for the algorithm uh, and that the Raspberry Pi won't overheat or even uh, runs the algorithm. But we're going to find out soon. One week later. Everything is running on the Raspberry Pi now. I did have some trouble because the Raspberry Pi is running on an ARM chipset and the algorithm, the machine learning algorithm was not ready for that. So uh, it yeah, was some trouble, but eventually I got it working. All of the steps that I went through, uh, I uh, put them in the description together with a link to the code. So uh, hopefully that will save you some time. Another thing I did was putting in a heat sink uh, on the Raspberry Pi because it was getting kind of hot. Now it's steady around 50 degrees Celsius, which is perfect. And uh, lastly, I was also a bit worried about the USB microphone, but that works perfectly. I did a lot of tests and uh, yeah, it's, it's not a problem at all. So I guess all of the thousands of YouTube videos that are put in the machine learning algorithm paid off. So let's see what I did with it.
can also use it to detect if your popcorn is ready. All jokes aside, it was a really amazing project and it has a lot of potential. But I just want to clarify for this video, I put the probability level at 0 0.3 uh, yeah, percent. So it's like 30% certainty. And that means that it also has more potential to detect some faulty uh, noises. So that, uh, that they happened quite a lot. Uh, but I had to do it because for example, uh, the drill, it would only detect like 0.4% certainty that it was a drill and I still wanted to show that it was able to detect it. But for example, uh, speech would be 0.9% certainty that I was actually, that I am actually talking. So you have to play around with the algorithm a bit. It probably also depends on what microphone you're using, um, and your whole setup, your room audio. So I would just recommend try things out for yourself, play around with the certainty level and have fun uh, with it. If you want to support me uh, for uh, making videos in the future, please uh, consider liking this video, subscribing uh, and uh, leave a comment on maybe uh, things that I should do next. See you in the next video.